Hi everyone, it's uh, 6 a.m. and uh, I am here at Rocket Cargo Emission Testing Center. It's one of, L of an LTO accredited uh, emission testing center for uh, private motor vehicle inspection uh, center. Now, I am going to document the entire process and give a guide from step one to finish to on how to complete the uh, PMVIC requirement. The PMV, PMVIC requirement is one of the prerequisites uh, that you need to comply before you can actually uh, submit for the renewal of your uh, private vehicle in LTO offices. See you around.
Okay, I'm back. So that is the entire um, motor vehicle inspection process. Um, once you finish the entire process, you have two options. Or after you get your certificate uh, at the releasing releasing area, you have two options. Either you process by yourself in their uh, LTO Lapu Lapu office, or you avail of their package wherein uh, they will be the one to process the renewal for you instead of you uh, going to Lapu Lapu. So um, in my case, I'm, I'm trying to avoid a hassle. So I avail of the package, I submitted all the requirements needed, which is the uh, PMVIC or MVIS certificate. It should pass. Um, because if it says fail, fail, fail. <laughs> if it says fail, they will not process or LTO Lapu Lapu will not process uh, your or the renewal of your registration. Second is um, the insurance. Make sure you have paid the insurance first, and then third is uh, the copy of your uh, ORCR. So they, they will go ahead and you know, calculate uh, on how much you're going to uh, spend for the renewal. Uh, I asked them uh, how much it costs. They said it's free. All you just need to do is to pay for the renewal fee, um, the insurance, uh, as well as if you have penalty from the previous year, they will calculate uh, everything. And then... Uh, I was quoted or advised that it may take uh, five to ten business days and uh, they will give you an estimate on how much you need to pay depending on their calculation on uh, what you paid on the previous year or on the, on the last uh, on the last payment you had with your uh, with your recent insurance if you have penalty they cannot quote you an amount but instead, uh, they will give you an estimate. They will not quote you an, an exact amount, but just an estimate. So, if ever um, you paid more, they will give it back to you. But if you paid less, they will advise you and will let you know that uh, the amount that you need to pay extra. So, yeah, for me, it's a lot convenient uh, instead of uh, going to LTO Lapu Lapu and submit it by myself or submit everything by myself. Uh, or process everything by myself because um, it's a one to two hour drive from where I live or from the PMV IC center uh, I process the renewal or the, the inspection so uh, at least I've asked if they have package or they have a package option rather than me going to Lapu Lapu and spend another two to three hours waiting there so if um, if there's something I missed in the video, comment down below. Uh, if, if there's something not clear, comment down below as well. And uh, I'll, I'll clarify. I'll, I'll do my best to clarify for you. So, um, see you in my next uh, adventure. If you have an item, a place, or something like this, a, a, a renewal, or a certain process that you want me to review just comment down below don't forget to subscribe uh, share this video and uh, click the notification bell so that you'll be updated if I have new uh, uploads. all right see you in my next content Peace.